Okay, so some of you guys may be looking for a little review of some integration techniques. Where should we start? Naturally, you sub. Everybody can do polynomials. <clears throat> so let's go and let's take a look at this first one, this green one. In this green one, we see it particularly nasty. Could we use our binomial theorem, expand that out, distribute in our x to the third, and integrate it as if it was a polynomial? Absolutely. But here we have a trick. So we might as well play that card. What we see in here is that um, if we're gonna let u be the inside, one minus x to the fourth, then du, the derivative of u with respect to x, is gonna be minus four x to the third dx. So what we're doing is we're looking for our pieces. Which pieces? The Reese's pieces? No, the pieces of integration. Here we see that we have an x to the third sitting on the outside, and we're wanting to get dx to be x to the third. So if I go through and I divide both sides by a minus four, then I have du over a minus four. That's gonna be x to the third dx. Yes. Now what we're doing is we're gonna go and we're gonna replace our pieces, these pieces, dx to the third dx. Instead of writing x to the third dx, we're gonna put du over minus four. And instead of putting x, one minus x to the fourth, we're gonna put u. So then, if we go through and we make that series of substitutions, I'm gonna have the integral of one over minus four from this part. I'm putting my du out back. That's replacing the x to the third dx. And then, I'm gonna have u to the fifth. Now what happened? We turned this awkward integration into polynomial integration. So then, if I'm gonna integrate u to the fifth du, what am I gonna do? Add one and divide by it? Sure. So then I have one over a minus, what's six times four? 24. I'm stepping a couple of skips because I'm a little short of board. <clears throat> This is u to the sixth plus c. All right, that sees our constant of integration because we're doing indefinite integrals here, indefinitely. So then I'm not done yet. I need to back sub my u. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna stick u back in. Here u was predefined to be one minus x to the fourth plus that C. And then what? You're done! A box. And a flower. All right, great. So some of you guys may wanna be getting triggy with it. Na 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 na. <laughs> yeah, let's go ahead and get triggy with it. Sure, here we're looking at some mm, what seemingly starts out to be some nasty integration. But upon second inspection, it really isn't that bad. What's the derivative of sine? Cosine, yeah. So here, what we're gonna do is we're looking for the derivatives inside. Here we saw the derivative of x to the fourth was gonna be x to the third. All right with that four on the outside, but we're looking for the pieces here. Yeah, here the derivative of sine is cosine. So if you don't mind me, remember, note, this is some lazy notation that the sine cubed x is really the sine of x cubed. So that being said, I can go and I can make my substitution. Here in my blue example, I'm gonna let u be the thing I wanna take the derivative of, sine x. So then du is gonna be cosine x. And then, oh, dx. So now what I do is I see that I have 
my du. So now I'm going to make my substitution integrate and back sub. And at that point, yeah, you know, done. Don't want a premature done. Let's go ahead, let's throw this guy in here. This is u to the third, because I'm replacing sign. And remember, this is that notation. And then I got du out there. Excellent. So then upon integrating u to the third, I'm going to see that it's u to the fourth over four, because I add one and divide by it. And then I'm going to put that plus c on the outside. Now I'm going to make my back substitution, and it appears to be sine to the fourth x over four, or maybe you put the one fourth outside plus that c. And then what? A box and a flower. Just one more. But wait, one more. Take a look at this guy, man. Ridiculous, man. Well, 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 take a look at that denominator. What would the derivative of this denominator be? It'd look a lot like that one. So let's go ahead and try to make that substitution. Here in my black example, um, u gonna be x squared plus 2x. Yeah, and then du gonna be 2x plus 2. And you're saying oh, dx on the outside. You're saying that doesn't look all the way like my numerator. But can I factor a factor of 2 out of there? Sure. So then du is 2 times the quantity x plus 1 dx. Now in order to get that numerator, we're going to have to divide both sides by 2. So then du over 2 is x plus 1 dx. So now I have this piece. In place of that piece, I'm going to put du over 2. So then I have, I have 1 half the integral. Why are you over here? You left it inside. Out there you pulled it out. It's a constant. I can pull my constant out of my integral. So then here in my numerator, I have du all over my denominator, u, because that's what I let u be. Excellent. How does that integrate? Oh, yeah. Natural log. We're going to go logging. So this is 1 half the natural log of the absolute value of u plus c. Absolutely. One more step, back sub. One half the natural log of my u. Oh yeah, x squared plus 2x plus c. And then what? A box and a flower. Hmm.